Welcome guys, welcome back to another episode of Trailmakers. This episode would be a bit of a different episode today. Today I will be showing off all my um, workshop builds, some of those that I did off camera, like the 3 and one vehicle, and the upgrade that I did to the VOTL that I did last episode. You can check last episode, the card would be above about now. Anyway, let's get into it. So I put all the links below for the Steam Workshop pages where you guys can subscribe to the bills and play around with them in your game. Oh my lord, I just. Alright, let's go. So I will be starting off with the vehicles, the ground base vehicles. Well, the tank is not in the workshop at the moment, but... So first we have the... Where is it? Right. First we have the racing truck. I think it's this one that I ordered. So that's the simplest vehicle that I have right now in the workshop. It's more of a static vehicle than a function vehicle. Now this here is one of my first workshop builds. I keep pressing the wrong damn button. This is a flippable This is a flippable uh, bike. So if I go up a hill sideways, I could actually flip around and still move there. When you flip, the controls just become reversed. If I can get it to flip. There is boost, so... Come on. You can't take off those. That's T and G to take off there. I can't flip it, but I know it works, so let's flip. It's hard to flip also. The next feature that I noticed about it... I got to the water so I can show you this. It works some... somewhat works in the water. Somewhat. Until you start to sink. Ow. That. That should be. It's not working now. <laughs> Wait enough. Alright, so that would be in the workshop. You guys can download that link in the description below. And see if you guys have better luck flipping it than I am. That I have. Right. Than I have. Why, why can't I talk today? 
Let's head after again. Back. Come on, get out of that. We'll get back to land to do this next one, and then we'll move on to the water vehicles. This one was more of a fun vehicle here. Oh, no, let me get off the ridge and get in the flat land. This is what I call in the workshop the... go train. This is literally as long as I could have gotten it before it said that it was too complicated. 39 or 36 wheels in total. So we can make a jump. Well, that was obviously not going to work. I don't know why I thought that was going to work. <laughs> not enough space. You know. Alright, so that is kind of permanently there. Good luck. Right, now moving on to the... Let's move on to the VOTLs. The two versions that I have. Let's go to a common area. Delete this vehicle, you literally have to zoom all the way out just to get this deleted. Right, so the first flying craft that I made, which was on the last episode, where is it? This is the first version. Da, da, da. Wow, I built this craft over a couple times. The flex sitting is used as you may have seen I did a few updates on the and this looks like the last version. Right, so this is the first version, version one. I keep pressing the wrong button to come out of the build menu. Like why? If you guys missed the previous episode you know how this one operates. Try to land. I just have to find out. version you know I could not land it well technically I landed it in water but this is not the version that can float then we have the updated version version 2.0 this is the weaponized version 
has a bit more handling than the last one. Why do I keep pressing that button? I keep pressing escape to come out of the build menu. Come on, man. So this one has the same takeoff. Well, I don't know that fact. That is annoyingly does that. Let's just build so it rotates. Right, let's try that takeoff again. This one has a very weird takeoff timing. Yeah, it's a bit harder to take off with this one. But let's see if it affects. Right, so it has the same controls as you can see, it's a bit more controllable in the air. That course made a takeoff sequence smoothness. And the weapons are central H. So you can do dog fights with this. Let's just crash into the world. And there it goes. That's a weird song. Let's get away from that. <laughs> That's a completely weird song. Right, now for the water vehicle. Let's start off with the sub that I built in the first episode. The fish sub. There's a bit of an update that I need to do eventually. Don't forget guys, all the links to all these builds in the workshop are down below. This one has a mile issue with the tail turn and the... I still press it. Mile issue with the tail turn in the opposite direction when... You're driving, but that's simple to fix. So this one actually works as a boat. As you can see. simple but yeah I put the card above to the episode that I did that build it was a first look episode right now for the extreme build the last build that I did this one was actually built off camera so this would be the first time you guys are actually seen it unless you guys downloaded it from the workshop already because it is public in the workshop the same day I built it which was I think last night this is a build I did last night it's a car a boat and a 
plane in one. It actually works moderately good. Uh, I have ISS press and escape. So before the back tail sinks, you is to engage the water engines. You can use the arrows to turn. It's very noisy. I'll load on that um, song just for that reason of it being so noisy. You. Let me take off my headphones because it's deafening me right now. Right. Actually, what? How I'm turning with it right now? I'm using the actual turning steering for the car. Somehow, it's actually turning the vessel. So the wheels in front are acting as rudders. As you can see, but it has a very, very, very wide turn radius compared to the other boats that I built in the past. Right, so that's the turning. If you want to take off from the water, if you watch the speed on this side there, you have to at least get up to 46, 47, or 45 is good enough to take off from the water. All you have to do is actually engage the propellers in front of the spacebar. If it runs for a while, 45 is good enough, and just gently tap on S and you would get up in the air. It's a bit hard to control when it's in the air. Like all my planes are. You can land in the water, but that's pretty annoying to do that. Oh, pull up, pull up, pull up, even though you can drive in the water, pull up. See, it drives in the water, flies, and it drives like a car regularly. Oh yeah, it's me. Well, I'm gonna get boot out of it here. Um, and it's gonna continue going. Literally, it's it's gonna continue going and leave me upside down. Um, hello, hello, come back here. Stick. Oh my lord, I missed that landing. Ah, no, it's pushing me. It's pushing me. Um, hello, where are you going? No, oh, my lord, right. Right. So I'm riding it at the moment for some reason. Right. <laughs> that landing in the water was not that good before it sinks into the water. Make sure to put on your engines to. Oh, frick. I made a dip there. Now for the very annoying turn radius of this. It's gonna take forever. Just to get a bit more speed, let me put on my plane engines. It's just to get some speed. Take it off. Play back on. Right, so you saw me take off from the water. I can take off now if I want because it's on 45. Once it hits 45, that's enough speed to actually get out of the water and into the air. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. So let's just get across to the land any moment. The taking off from land is obviously way easier than taking off from water. I would recommend if you're flying over water to leave your boat engines on just in case you crash land into the water so that your tail fin would not sink. If your propellers are on it should work just fine. Okay let's take off the propellers before we crash into that. Hello there. I'll leave the boat engines on just for this one. Once you get up on land, the arrows, you use the arrows to control the car. As you can see, it drives perfectly as a car. 
it's a bit low to the ground so turning is weird and do not try to do rams obviously it's not that fast but it's good enough as you can see and let's try a quick takeoff with the in car mode let's get a clear shot here this is not really a clear shot but let's go for it let's get up to f you gain speed very fast so i can pull up now That was a smooth transition, because my boat engines are still on, I can easily just take off the plane engines and glide the way down to the boat mode. That was smoother than I thought it would have been. And simple as that. The boat usually go without the propellers on, it usually goes about 24 kph or oh, whatever that's meant to be. I'm not. I can't remember actually. Whatever. <laughs> so you should go as 24. With just the boat engines on. Right, if you guys want to download this 3 in 1 vehicle, you can feel free to download it through the Steam Workshop. I'll put the link in the description to all the builds that I showed off today. A bit of a different episode today. Don't forget, guys, on the 13th of. July again on the 13th of July I will be giving away a copy of Data Defense on the channel for the one year anniversary I'll be giving away a copy of Data Defense actually three copies one would be on Twitch which should be twitch.tv slash ashboss1234 links in the description below one would be on Instagram ashboss gaming on Instagram links also in the description below and one would be on YouTube for the YouTube build. All you got to do is like the video, drop a comment below on what you want to see next episode or just a random comment. Subscribe to the channel. And on the 13th, we'll be drawing all the three keys on my Twitch channel. So feel free to jump across to the Twitch channel. Join the Discord also. That would be a much easier way to contact you if you win the Steam key. So to send you the key, feel free to join the Discord. And anyway guys, if you do, if you're a YouTuber, a Twitch streamer out there, and oh my god, this is like so weird to say. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a YouTuber and Twitch streamer out there, feel free to join the Discord where you can promote your YouTube channel and your Twitch channel in the chat. Also, you can promote your Discord. I would be adding Mixer to the Discord so you guys can promote your channel in the Discord. Anyway guys, thank you for tuning into this episode of Trailmakers. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. A bit of a show episode today not much of a building today it actually took up the same time that i usually take to build not much usually when i'm building it's an hour all right guys thank you for tuning in let's just do a last takeoff for the episode thank you guys for tuning in and we're off oh my lord see you guys in the next one